G'day, this is Simon and James at a huge Thanksgiving long weekend here at South Ossie Cars and Coffee. As with all long weekends, a massive turnout, mate. What have you seen? It is huge. We have a Chiron, a Senna, a Regera. We have a ton of SF90s. We have just about every kind of supercar and hypercar that you guys could possibly want to see. It is a massive turnout today. What have you seen? Yeah, we've got those two BOCs, those British track cars that are absolutely insane, all carbon single driver no room for a passenger just the way a track car should be so many great things hey don't forget if you're coming to south ocean cars and coffee please remember to respect our rules no speeding no revving no burnouts that includes getting on on and off the freeway and driving around the streets of san clemente all right mate we've got a lot to see let's go for a walk and check some stuff out let's do it here we have a Regera at South Jose Cars and Coffee this morning. This is the 1500 horsepower single gear hypercar from Koenigsegg. You can see finished with white paint, tons of exposed carbon, the beautiful Alcantara and carbon stitched interior on the inside. And then back here, we have the twin turbo V8, again, putting out over 1500 horsepower. This thing is absolutely mental. Here we have two absolutely mental BAC monos. You can see the standard back mono here, starting at over $300,000, the turbo four cylinder, a single passenger car made out of entirely carbon fiber. And the next one, we have the BAC mono R. You can see it has adjustable suspension from the factory, full exposed carbon fiber, and then it makes about 50 to 60 more horsepower, almost 400 horsepower out of this thing that weighs, I would assume, less than a ton. These are absolutely mental. Thank you to the team at McLaren and uh, of course now BAC Mono in Newport Beach for bringing these out. Here we have a very clean FA Tributo Spider. This car is stunning. You can see it's lowered on a set of what I assume are Brixton or no, Anarchy wheels with a beautiful white leather interior. You can see it has those sports seats on the inside, tons of exposed carbon fiber. This black finish is absolutely stunning. What do you guys think of this? Here we have a stunning McLaren 600 LT. This one is spec to the nines. You can see chicane effect paint on the outside. Tons and tons and tons of carbon fiber. You can see the exposed roof and A and B pillars. And then right here we have the factory roof scoop. And of course this massive exhaust. You know this thing shoots huge flames out the back of it. 600 LT is just awesome. Here we have the all new Huracan Technica. This one brought out, I believe it was built by Yost Auto Tailoring. You can see beautiful blue wrap on the outside, slammed on a set of Brixons with a VF tune. This thing is absolutely menacing. You're so fine, I'm so lame. You sip wine, I drink straight. Here we have a stunning GT2 RS in what I believe to be Hunter Green, finished with a tan interior, tons of carbon. This car is absolutely stunning. And then next to it, we have a matching Miami Blue GT2 RS, of course, with the carbon buckets inside, black interior. What an insane lineup of two RSs. Which one would you take? Here we have a stunning 991.1 Ultraviolet GT3 RS. This thing is mental. The owner told me it has a fab speed exhaust. You can see it has the uh, OG buckets on the inside and then next to it, a GT3 Touring. This is a dot two, absolutely wild interior. You can see it has that houndstooth, the carbon shifter. What a wild spec. Said I'm falling fast, don't remember life before. Here we have the OG Perfumante, the Gallardo Perf. This thing is absolutely wild. You can see they only made this in a spider, I'm pretty sure. And then this stunning metallic green paint on the back, carbon wing. This thing is awesome. And then arguably even more rare than this Perfumante is the Squadra Corsa. I believe this was limited to only 25 units. The 5.2 liter V10 pushing out over 500 and I believe 80 horsepower with this car. What an insane turnout of Gallardos this morning. Here we have a wild lineup of hypercars here this morning. Starting off, we have the SF90. This has to be the first SF90 that I've ever seen with the comfort seats on the inside. I've never seen one without buckets before, but I kind of like the look of it. Carbon wheels, and then we have a full exposed carbon center and that Chiron. This center is insane. You can see it has a mix of wet and dry carbon. The factory roof scoop, of course, and then these wild light bronze wheels. Moving along to the Chiron finish in a stunning gloss white. You can see it has those massive carbon ceramics. 
the 8 liter W16 pushing out over 1500 horsepower. Which one of these would you take? Let us know in the comments below. Perfect daylight today. The motorcycles are out in force. Check out the variety today. have a massive turnout today we have filled the overflow lot even around the other side as well as the main lot so many amazing cars here today shout out to the guys from Mountain View Adventure Vehicles one of our sponsors these guys do these amazing amazing fit outs of vans as you can see here absolutely incredible check out their website you can click on that QR code there but just so many cool things in this big welcome to the Toyota 86 Scion FRS Subaru BRZ Club we have here today. These guys reached out in advance, asked if the club to come in. We brought them in early, parked them together. So make sure if you've got a club and you'd like to do the same, please reach out to us via social media or our website. Hang out together as these guys are here. Next Saturday the 2nd is our annual Toys for Marines. This year it is a memorial to Mickey who used to actually organise the show and has passed away over the last 12 months. It's thanks to the guys from the Southern California Woody Club and we really appreciate them. So if you come along next week, please bring an unwrapped toy for boys or girl, boy or girl to the value of $15. Uh, it goes to uh, kids of parents who are in the Marines at Pendleton, either deployed, uh, back from service, going through financial difficulty or wounded warriors. So that's Toys for Marines. Next weekend at South Sea Cars and Coffee, please bring a toy to the value of $15 or more. Beautiful GT500 here. This car is absolutely magnificent. Look how clean this thing is under the hood. This beautiful machine valve covers and uh, air intake cover there. Uh, wonderful looking bodywork on this thing. It's got the side skirts on the uh, sp uh, vents on the side and on down here. That wonderful interior as well, signed also by Carol Shelby. Just a beautiful car on every angle. This was such a wonderful era of Mustang. Look at those tail lights in the back of this thing. Iconic looking car. Spent all my life holding all of it closely. I played it. It would be remiss of me to walk past this Ford XB panel van and not talk about this because like me, it is an Aussie. So I've spoken about this van tons of times and the story behind this is in Australia, our three major manufacturers, Holden, which was GM, Ford and then Chrysler Australia had a model of vehicle which they then made into a sedan, a long wheelbase luxury version, a ute or El Camino or Ranchero if you want to call it that here. Uh, and then of course the panel van as we can see here as well. So this was what trades people would use to move things around. It got embraced by the surf culture who turned them into surf vehicles and they actually did both Holden and Chrysler did versions. The Holden was called a Sandman which had decals on the side and the Chrysler version was actually called a Drifter. So this is a XB, the front end of it looks familiar, it's because it is actually the car same model but in a coupe version that was used for the uh, Mad Max vehicle and uh, so people over here go hey that looks familiar well that's because it's basically the same vehicle so if you're a tradesperson and you need to move things around or extend a little bit and turn it into a, uh, a hearse all of those things were possible they even did a station wagon version as well so this is a XB Ford panel van from Australia <laughs>
was not so pure, my bad I don't give a You stepping on me at the comma Mama touch your body and I'm mad You're mad I guess you're mad Wore my best pajama for this drama Why are you talking like that? Like that, like that If the Griswolds used a van Then I believe this would be the van that they would use Check this thing out this is classic. Look at the shag pile green carpet under there. The, look at this. It's got everything, including the kitchen sink. This is really special. Got the table there, the captain's chairs. This is a Dodge cruising in style. The thing I like the most, I think, is if we look at the headliner up there, trying to figure out if that was actually made that way or somebody's wallpapered that sucker. This is actually super cool. Really great. Isn't that funny when you see things that years ago we wouldn't have looked twice at this, but because it's pristine, because you don't see them anymore, yeah, it's great to see. If I didn't talk about this particular Defender, Sarah would never talk to me again. This thing is super cool. Check it out. It's actually for sale, um, but it's been decked out very nicely. Got nice seats and everything, but check the tent out across the top. This thing's amazing the way it's all been done. It's uh, pretty cool. It's like an old school fit out with all the wood and everything in there, but that's where you climb up to get in the bunk. And then I guess you close the door and you're up there and bad luck if you need to get up in the night and pee. But, but, well, I suppose that's what the windows are for, but it's pretty cool, isn't it? Isn't it a great looking Defender? <laughs> That is it for a very busy Thanksgiving South OC Cars and Coffee. Thank you guys all so much for coming out. Please remember, if you're coming to South OC Cars and Coffee, remember no revving, no speeding, and no burnouts. It does include in the event on the streets of San Clemente and then getting on and off those freeways. I want to give a huge shout out to all the sponsors. We have the Bracketeer, Wear Marketing, Meguiar's, Bolsa, the PDM brands, Next Level Auto Protection, Happy Jewelers, Reviver, Carbontastic, and Mountain View Adventure Vehicles as well. I want to say a huge thank you to all the volunteers for helping us out each and every week. We could not put on the show without you guys. If you want to become a volunteer, hit us up on Instagram at South OC Cars and Coffee Merch, where we handle all the volunteer rostering. And then while you're over there, check out some of the merchandise designs. We've got long sleeve, short sleeve, t-shirts, hats, hoodies, lanyards, everything that you guys could possibly want. And we are running a sale 20% off. We're going to extend it through this weekend. So if you guys are watching it today, you'll be able to get it through the end of Sunday. Um, if you are volunteering at South OC Cars and Coffee, you get to bring your car in before 8.30. Then Ruby's and it does also provide a free coffee and donut for everyone helping out. Yeah, big thank you to Ruby's for doing that and also feeding the masses. And boy, are there some masses here today. Big thank you to the outlets of San Clemente. Remember, if you need to do any shopping, go to the movies, go to a restaurant, come to the outlets, tell them South OC Cars and Coffee sent you. And a big thank you to the city of San Clemente for their support as well. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee. Thank you, guys.